and the same the opposite direction. But this problem, you, once you go in there inside the gap, you see there's a picnic table there. You'll be able to do a three and you come back out there. Oh, you're a legend. Thank you very much for that. Job done. Understood correctly. Mike gave you instructions where to go, right? Yes. And you're going to ignore every single one of them. Every one of them. <laughs> so what we're going to do now? So you park right here. We're going. So what do you find interesting about it? Well, I, I've never seen a tiny camera on such a big tripod. Uh -huh. it's, uh, it's a new for me. It's compensating for something. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see. Talking me online for a number of months that he was coming to Ireland, and I said, You know what? I'll give in and allow him to uh, meet up with me today. Oh, and I think he's here somewhere. Yeah. Here he is, yes. So, this is Pascal. Pascal, say hello. 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 Where are you from? Germany. Germany? Yes. And you're traveling Ireland right now? Yes, I do. Okay, will you do me a favor? Yes. Will you travel over here? No. Yes, I do. Okay, sure. so, and then I'll tell you more what I want to do when you come back. Do I go now? Yeah. Oh, excellent. So, <laughs> Pascal is going to um, go over here onto a cliff, and what I'm shooting at the moment here um, is a singular stack, and it's surrounded by a two cliff edges on the right of sight. Now, the shot would be nice enough, um, but what I'm going to do is, when he gets over there, I'm going to take the shot, and I'm going to be quick at taking the shot. You might notice in the front of the camera here, I have the um, uh, the lead filter uh, cover or camera cover on it, a lens cover, sorry. And the reason for it is because with the wind, there's an awful lot of spray that's coming through. So, Pascal has got over there now. I'm going to very quickly take the shot so we can see and get a bit of scale into the photo from when he takes the shot itself. So, he's actually quite precariously uh, at the moment on the very, very end of the clip. But it should result in a very nice image and give a nice scale as well, I think. Um, to the shot. So let's see. Yeah, that worked out well. Perfect. Pascal! You can come back now! So as he's coming back here now, we will uh, have a chat with him and see a bit more about him and how he is uh, traveling around the garden. Okay. I'm exhausted. I think I made bad footage. <laughs> Pascal, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions, 
Right, so you, as I said to you guys a second ago here, you just uh, arrived in Ireland three weeks ago, you were in Iceland, you were in Norway. So, what's your impression of Ireland so far? Uh, it's um, a lot of coast. Okay. Yeah. Uh, much waves. Yes. Uh, in the north, the weather was very good. Yeah, you arrived when we had a summer. It lasted three days. The summer was two weeks amazing. Yeah? Yeah. Two weeks? Two weeks, sun, non-stop. I don't believe it. Do you think we had two weeks of summer in Ireland? I don't think so. I just watch my videos. Ah, channel. yes. Because you're a YouTuber as well and people can watch all your content. Whether they... If they are mistaken. <laughs> because I'm pretty much at the bottom of YouTube right now. Right, okay. Right. Okay, okay. So, really, uh, so and you, how many videos have you made here so far? In Ireland I've made 13. Wow, 13 videos. That's, yeah. that's going to be great. So. Yes. And Tell me, what do you think of Ireland? Is it a good place? Uh, I mean, the coasts are interesting. But I find it challenging because I'm not so much experienced with coasts. Okay. Yeah. Especially with that Storm Hector. Yes. Yeah, you were for Storm Hector. Well, it, not the first night. The okay. first night was too extreme. There was very strong wind and uh, it was raining. Yes. So I was just sleeping at that time. Okay. Uh, but the next night it wasn't that extreme. The waves weren't as high anymore, but I think it would look pretty epic if you would be able to capture those five meter high waves. Yes. I, I think they were pretty high. Any surfers? Uh, I, no, they would have died. It, it was it was crazy, uh, super. Uh, when I was at the down at the time. Yes. And the echo started. And, uh, it was brutal. Okay. I, I, I slept by the, the coast, and I think uh, the west coast was hit. And the car was going to be hitting the, over. Yeah, the west coast was hit. What? What has been the most, I suppose, the highest or the highlight of your trip so far? No, no. You hate the wind? No, I, I hate the wind. Okay. I hate but wind. you've been in Iceland. Like, yeah, I, I, hate, from Iceland? I hate the wind in Iceland as well. Okay, okay. It's, um, it's an enemy. Yes. It's my nemesis. You can't fly your drone in that. It's dangerous for the drone. I almost, I, I did have problems at the Don Patrick had. Yes. The night after Hector, the wind was kind of strong. And yes. Where I was standing, it, it felt kind of okay. Okay. And I started drawing and had a look. It doesn't take much, but it was okay. But once you fly out a bit, the wind conditions might change. Okay. They can change maybe a bit higher up, or maybe it's just the part of the coast that can expose yes. more wind. Yes. So it can happen that um, you don't see it windy. No? Yeah, you yeah. don't see the wind. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but then the, the drone just is cached by the wind. You have to find a way to, uh, to rescue it by mostly by, by uh, lowering the height, yes. lowering the altitude, yes. and um, uh, save the battery by stopping recording. Yes. And if you're very fancy, maybe spot more yes. to be even flyer because it can happen that the wind just pushes the drone away you from where you are, flying. and then you're flying very slow. And don't ever, don't ever enable uh, return to home. If return to home, if it if it wants to return to home because the battery is kind of low, click on cancel. Okay. Because return to home usually will do the worst job than you do manually. Okay. Yeah. It's pretty bad. I, I had that scenario in Iceland. It was even worse because it's much colder, so the battery drains even faster. Yes. And then what happens when the return to home kicks in? The drone wants to go on its altitude that you set up, like 100 meters, whatever you set up. Uh -huh. And but that might be the height where the wind might be very strong. So you need to be in control of the drone yourself to correctly maneuver it out. You might need to do some turns. Yes. You know, try to get out of uh, obvious spots where the wind might be blowing, like, yes. like uh, an upward of a cliff. Yes. Right? You want to get out of that where the, where the wind can swirl around. So it, 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 return to home can be deadly. Mm. Yeah, can be deadly. Well, guys, you should check out some of his drone footage and some of his Iceland videos. I'll link to some of them below. But outstanding work. Outstanding work. Thank you very drone. much. Um, and you know, I've really enjoyed watching uh, Pascal's vlogs as well. And I actually, you know, we, he messaged me a couple of months back saying he was coming to Ireland. And I said, yeah, sure, I'd meet up with him. Uh, he's a funny guy, he's a crazy guy, he's a crazy German guy. He just ran over, as you saw here, and gave me some nice shots. Would you mind going to the other side? And we'll try and do a double exposure and we can try and uh, balance out that shot. I would mind.
wood mine. Yeah, because it's very far out. But you're, you're nice and I'm fit. I'm very tired. You're nice and fit. I, I will do it. Okay, yeah. perfect. So we we'll watch Pascal now do his trademark run out to the other side here, and uh, hopefully then we'll get a nice shot from that. So really, really nice meeting you. I hope you don't fall off the, the cliff. Will yeah. you say goodbye? Now? Depends if you don't fall off the cliff or not. Ah, okay. So yeah, I'm, I, I I'm making sure just in case. I don't plan to jump off right now. Okay. So I could come back. Okay, so you'll come back. So it's no goodbye. All right, okay. So we'll see you in a minute. So yeah, yeah, I will come. Back.